Thank you, Madam President. <clears throat> I rise today, uh, as I have done over the last uh, four years, to raise an issue in regards to a multinational ripping off their subcontractors. Seems to be a very common theme um, that's been going on for many years um, and doesn't seem to be slowing down. So I'm raising an issue today that was brought to my attention by um, some workers in a company called Primero um, in the mining industry out in Kalgoorlie. Um, and the issue that they raised with me, and I did a bit more investigating, was regarding a contract that was fulfilled by Primero in South Australia. Now, as members would know, South Australia has quite a big energy issue um, and has been doing a lot of work um, to try and catch up on what has probably been um, a bit of a missed opportunity on their energy infrastructure. So what uh, Primero were engaged to do, the head contractor for building a power plant in um, Barker Inlet Power Station, it was the name of the project, um, was AGL. And AGL obviously was working with the South Australian Government on finding an opportunity to get more power into the grid um, and uh, fix up some of the issues in South Australia. They then subcontracted their uh, power station to a mob called Wartzilla. Um, Wartzilla. They, uh, they then engaged Primero. Um, Primero is a West Australian company, um, quite small, but, um, but have uh, plenty of experience in this space of uh, constructing the power station. So in 2018, they went over to South Australia they engaged all local um, subcontractors on the project, um, over 100 employees, and um, what happened quite quickly into the process, um, what I've been explained, is in their contract um, they were given specs and everything for what they had to build for the power plant, but there was some relaxation on if them specs changed. Um, and I don't build power stations, so bear with me, members. But there was the ability for more money to come in if there was an expansion on how much they had to do and all the specs. So that clearly, straight away, as soon as they got onto the job, things started to get a bit blown out. Um, originally, um, Wartzilla were paying the excess without a problem. Um, because it was part of their contractual uh, um, requirements, is what I'm led to believe. Now, what happened um, part way through was Wartzilla stopped paying. Now, AGL put pressure on to Primero, saying, you're building the contract, you need to continue to build the power station. Um, they got quite a fair bit of pressure from what I'm led to understand, not just from AGL, but the South Australian government was there, was there as well. Um, so what they did was Primero doing the best they could, they continued to do the job. And they paid all their subbies across the entire job and completed the power station. So they paid everybody, um, which is normally it's that Primero level where they're not paying their subbies, they're trying to get the money out of the head client, and it ends up affecting the workers. But this West Australian company paid all the workers. Then they went away to try and get their money out of uh, Wartzilla, and Wartzilla denied that money. It is potentially over $50 million. So it has absolutely um, hit, hit hard Primero, their business, um, and has made very stressful uh, times for employees and uh, the uh, owners of the business. Now, I reached out to Wartzilla and asked them about this, um, obviously to see um, what response I would get, and I got a very um, hesitant response on the phone, followed by a very short, sharp official letter from someone higher up um, saying, there's court processes in place and uh, we're not gonna comment on it and uh, we're moving forward. Now, Wartzilla, I'm led to believe, are just starting to break into WA. Um, Wartzilla have been around for centuries. They're a Norwegian generation. Finnish, 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 sorry, Finnish. I was getting there, member. But uh, I'm talking about WA. Them coming, in, them coming in now to try and get contracts, particularly in the offshore oil and gas industry, that's what I've been led to believe. So, and, and they're a multinational, as you're right, right? They're a, a subsidiary of them is Wartzilla Corporation, which is the one that they went under, but it is also a Finnish company which manufactures and services power stations all over the world. So multinational, as I said from the start. 
So what concerns me around this is Primero is a small operator who's then been given a great contract, a great opportunity, goes in, makes the best of their contract, makes sure they build all these things in, and then what happens when you deal with a multinational who doesn't like what the outcome is? Lawyers come in and it just bogs down the smaller company. And nine times out of ten, what I've seen is normally the workers don't get paid. And that, that money is then argued between, say, Wartzilla and Primero. But they paid all their workers, which was a big, big step. And that was in South Australia as well. What my concern um, is, is that this company has now been absolutely um, restricted and constantly at battle now legally. I don't know how much they'd be paying up against a company that has absolute teams of lawyers. Um, so I want to raise this in the House because it is very concerning. There is some court cases, I believe, one in South Australia and one in Western Australia. Um, there has been um, a couple of cases that came through. At one point, Primero was actually um, awarded $15 million. Then it was a, there was an appeal, and I had a look at the appeal, and they won the appeal based upon the facts that uh, um, Primero had sent all the information they had to send to Wartzilla before the court date in a link. And there was about 50,000 pages. And it was done before the cutoff time, but, the, uh, but to open the link took an extra day, which ended up being after the cutoff time. So they ended up getting zero dollars out of that, after winning $15 million, by the way. Um, so these companies look at every single angle they can to try and make sure they get out of paying um, this contractor Prime Euro. So I think um, it's very important that we are vigilant um, moving forward. They, they, are, they are actively pursuing contracts privately and public in the public sector here in Western Australia. Um, and I hope all the best for Primero uh, in their battle. Um, if they are, and I can only take them on their word, that they uh, had their contract, they paid their workers, and now they are in an absolutely um, shocking position of being $50 million out of, out of pocket. Shame on Wartzilla for this, if this is true. Um, and just be very weary here in Western Australia to all the public and private sector about Wartzilla because this is absolutely unacceptable behaviour.